to my channel. My name's Rihanna and today I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup routine. I don't wear makeup all the time, however if I do go out um, and I am going to wear makeup, this is the look that I tend to go for. Very basic around the eye, a nude lip um, and a lot of highlight. So if you'd like to see how I get this look, then please keep watching. Right, so I've done my eyebrows off of camera because they take ages to do and also I'm always faffing around with them always making them straighter and neater. So I've done my camera, I've done my eyebrows off camera. Um, so I'm just gonna get straight onto the face. When I'm doing an everyday makeup routine, I don't do a lot with the eyes. So that's why I always start with the base first. However, if I was doing a night out makeup look, I would always start with the eyes first, just because I tend to do a lot of blending and a lot of fallout from the eyeshadow tends to get on my face and I just end up removing it. So obviously if I had done the base beforehand, I would end up removing um, majority of my foundation. So I use a MAC strobe cream. I think this is the silver one. Now I used to use this, the, the really, really old MAC um, strobe cream and it never, the one before it had all the colors. Um, and I've actually, I had like three bottles in my jar. And because I stocked up on it because I loved it so much. Because I do in and out use it as a moisturiser, like a daily moisturiser. Um, I'm, I apologise if you can hear muffling in the background. It's Louis. He's finally up here today. But he is wriggling around on the floor. He's having a funny five minutes. Um, so yeah, I went to MAC. And I said, do you have the original the original strobe cream? And they said, no, they don't do it anymore. So I just picked up this one, which is probably the nearest, I would say. Um, so actually, it's, it's silver light. It's in the shade silver light. And I use this one before I put on my makeup. And like I said, I also use it um, sometimes as just a normal daily moisturiser. So I'm just going to pop a little bit. I pop a little pump. I have... Um, I have dry skin, but I sometimes do have a combination. It really depends. Um, but I do put a lot of this on because I love the way it fills on my skin for one. And for two, my foundation goes on a million times better. So I'm just going to rub this in. And I really apologise for how my skin looks. The last two days, I broke out. And to be fair, my skin the last couple of months have been so good. Um, I switched up my skincare, and ever since I switched it up, my skin has just been amazing. But now all of a sudden, it's just I've had a couple of breakouts, um, so I'm just trying to get rid of them, which sometimes it takes time, doesn't it? So, oh, also please uh, ignore how white my face is. I have fake tanned. Um, so it's still developing, but I never fake tan my face. Um, so yeah. So once I've just blended all that in, um, I love the smell of MAC foundation and cream. It's, it's beautiful. I then go in with my Too Faced Born This Way. Now this face foundation is my holy grail. Ever since this foundation came out, I grabbed it with both hands. And I don't know what attracted to me. I think what attracted me to it was the coconut water in it something just grabbed my attention and i bought it and i've never looked back ever since this is my, my third or fourth bottle like i said i don't wear foundation i don't wear makeup that much so when i say it's my third bottle people probably think well this has been out for years um however i don't wear uh, makeup a lot so this is on my third bottle and i use the shade ivory because again i'm quite pale um and yeah, this foundation I would say is kind of like a semi, i say it's like a satin finish actually. I wouldn't say it's a matte finish, but I wouldn't say it's a dewy finish either. I think, it, I would say it's a satin finish. Um, so I like that. So yeah. And to pop that on, I just used a blender, beauty blender. Actually, this is like a Royal Technique sponge. Pop a little bit onto my beauty blender. And I just blend that in. Now, I don't really use a lot of foundation. Um, only because I use a, a lot of... Con the dog's under me. I use a lot of concealers and stuff to kind of make up my makeup. 
make up my makeup that doesn't make sense but to kind of build up my makeup um so that's why i don't use um a lot a lot of foundation i probably just use two pumps actually so yeah i use two pumps um people might think that's a lot but um i don't think it is Now I go through stages, sometimes I'll use a beauty blender, um, my Real Technique sponge. Um, I didn't actually like the beauty blender, I bought it when I went to Paris, uh, I bought it in Sephora over there and I just didn't like it. I like the mini ones but I don't like the actual big one. Um, so ever since then I've just used the Real Technique one and I prefer it that massively. Um, I don't know, some people prefer the beauty blender to this one. Oh my god, I look so pale. But obviously my foundation hasn't developed, uh, my foundation, my tan hasn't developed yet. But it still looks brown, I may have to add. This is my colour on my normal pale days. And I have tanned, so. I'm just going to add a little bit more on the areas that I'm breaking out. Like I said, I don't break out often, so. So the next thing I will do is I will add two, ah, two um, concealers. Well, one one highlighter, one concealer. The concealer that I love and use again all the time is my holy grail is the Naked Skin Concealer, and I use this. This is by Urban Decay, and I use this in the shade Fair Neutral. I love this stuff. Um, it's brilliant, and I, and I also use the Mac Prep and Prime in the shade Light Boost. And this is how I do it. Oh. So what I do is I just create. I do it all along here. Up on the nose. On the forehead. And that's that. I then go in with. A little bit of the light boost. I then blend it all in. I make the most weirdest faces when I'm blending in my concealer. Now I will add a tiny little bit underneath my eyes in a minute and that's because I don't want to powder yet and sometimes I crease. Um, but I am going to add um, a little bit of cream bronzer, well cream, yeah, cream contour in. Um, I just like I said, I prefer like more of a dewy and a natural satin look um, rather than a matte look. So I tend to, um, I like to creams and then powders instead of just powders on their own. So I use the Pro Conceal LA Girl Concealer and I use this in the shade Beautiful Bronze and I love this stuff. This stuff is brilliant. So I use this Real Techniques. Um, this is the oh my god, it's rubbed off. Oh, this is the pointed foundation brush, is it? Um, so I literally, for some particular reason, my brush from this concealer didn't work, ever work. So I've had to just break it off and kind of use it like this. So I do this in stages because I don't... I don't want it to dry quickly. Techniques sponge, and this is purely for um, bronzers. And I'm just going to spritz this with some Fix Plus. I have already made it wet, but I want to make it a little more wetter so it blends in a lot more smoother and nicely. And then I'm just going to, you don't want to rub, you just want to pound, well, bounce off your skin. And this is where how you're going to get the best payoff of the bronzer. Now, like I said, I've used this for ages now, and I love their stuff. 
and I'm quite pale as you can tell. I didn't do that because it rhymed, I just... And I'm gonna blend that in again. I always kind of like pull my hair back when I'm doing it. I'm kind of like an all or nothing girl. I either wear makeup or I don't wear none at all. And when I say I wear makeup, I I spend a good hour, two hours doing my makeup. Um, because I just like it to make it perfect. And sometimes I, I just spend ages blending or... Can you hear that digging? That's a Louie, he's bored. Now it's all coming together now, it looks a little bit more. I do then add a little bit on my nose because... But it is this very, very small amount. Just because I like to give the illusion of my nose being a little bit more slimmer. And also I like the effect of my nose looking a little bit bronzy as well. So, after you've creamed and you've, well, you've done everything in the cream department, you want to then grab your powder or whichever way you want to do it i grab my laura mercier translucent powder i love this stuff um i didn't understand the hype when it first came out and everyone raved about it and i thought right i need to get it it's very dry especially for someone like me who has dry under eyes well not dry under eyes but i have dry skin so oh look at the really weird faces i make So I do use the bare minimal, but it is a great, great um, setting powder. I, so as you can see, I put it all on and I do just dust it off straight away. Um, if I'm baking properly on a night out, then I will keep it on for longer. But because it's just an everyday, knowing me if it's an everyday i'm only going to be wearing my makeup on for a couple of hours and then i'll be taking it off so it's not meant to last all day this is this brush um is i think it's from new look it's just a bronzer brush but i use it just to dust off the powder after i've used it right so next thing i do is i go in with my mac bronzer and well my mac mineralized skin finish and this is the shade um give me sun i love this bronzer this bronzer is amazing yeah so I'm just going to bronze up my face. I always like a lot of bronzer on my forehead. I think it makes you look so sun-kissed. I'm just going to pop a little bit on my nose. Not too much though. And the blusher brush that I use is one from Crime Brush. It's the... C405 contour brush. Um, I've had this brush for ages, really like it. And the ba -ba 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 -ba, what am I using? And the blusher that I always use is the Melba Mac um Mac powder blush. The powder brush pow I can't get yourself together. The Mac powder blush in the shade Melba. This is, everyone has this blush. It's a really popular blush, blusher. I'm just gonna. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna go in and do my eyeshadow. Now on an everyday makeup routine, I don't really opt for eyeshadow. I just use the Give Me Some Bronzer that I use to bronze up my skin. I use that in my eye socket. So I'm just going to swirl a little bit in my brush, tap it, the excess off, and I'm just going to Um, I just, I love it. It goes really nice with my eye colour. I'm then going to just pop a little bit 
I didn't actually see what the brush was called, I'm really sorry. This is the crown brush and it's the C200 Deluxe Crease that I just used. Then I'm going to go on with in with a, a Varney brush that I had, I've had again for years. And I'm just going to... Oh my god, I make the weird face, my spirit is faces. I'm just going to... Pop a little bit. Under my eyes. I'm then going to go in with my mascara. I use the L'Oreal um, False Lashes Telescopic Mascara. I've used this for absolute years. Now, my eyelashes are non existent. I have the most straightest eyelashes ever. As you can tell. So you can either, 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 you can either leave your eyes like this or you can wear eyelashes. I'm going to put eyelashes today. Um, I'm not going to do it on camera because I have to really look into the mirror. Um, but if you want how to put how, like an in-depth routine on how I apply my eyelashes, then just obviously comment down below and I can do that for you. As well as my eyebrows if you want an in-depth tutorial as well on how I do my eyebrows then comment down below and I can do that for you too. Back, I've done my eyelashes. Um, these I used were ones from Superdrug I believe and I've chucked the packet away. And I cannot remember which ones they were called, but they're they're really wispy. Um, I really like them. So the next thing I do is highlight, and I use the Mac Soft and Gentle. Love this stuff. And I'm just going to go in with a fan brush that I actually have had for years, ever since I went to college and did makeup, and it's lasted me all this time. It's so good. Um, so I just spray some of this. Just spray this with some Fix Plus, and I just. Take a little bit on the brush. And this is my favourite part. I think this is every girl's favourite part. They love highlighting. So I just add a little bit above my eyebrow. And obviously on my cheekbones. I always do this with my hair. I pop a little bit on my chin, only if I haven't got a spot. Um, I pop a little bit down my nose. Now I love having a highlighted nose. I think it just it looks really cute. So Zoeva Luxe pencil brush, and I go in with that same highlighter, and you just grab. And I just go in the inner corners above my cupid's bow. On my eyebrow bone. My what is it? My eyebrow bone? Oh I don't bloody know. So that is my face complete. I'm then gonna just take a wipe, just any old wipe, and I'm just gonna wipe my lips. I hate foundation lips. Oh, back in the day, I used to wear concealer on my lips. But now I switch back from two. So I switch from the two MAC lip pencils, either stripped down oak, and I sometimes actually go in with spice as well. Um, it depends what mood I'm in and what kind of look I'm going for. I'm going to use strip down today. And then I go in with my all time fave, which is MAC 
um, meth. I'm just going to add this. And then I'm going to go in with this lip gloss um, by Sleek. Um, and it's in the shade, I think it's in the shade Angel Falls. It's really nice. I love glossy lips. I'm such a glossy girl rather than a matte girl. Last but not least, I'm going to go in and I'm just going to um, pop some um, brow set. The MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Set in the shade Brown Ebony. Um, I use this one. It is the dark. I think I don't know if it's the darkest one, but it's, it is pretty dark. So I kind of just take off a lot from the brush because I don't want it too intense. I like my, uh, I don't know if you can see, but I love my eyebrows to kind of be quite fluffy and natural. I love that look. I used to like have such tiny little eyebrows and I don't ever like cut them or anything anymore. I like them to be really fluffy and natural. go in to just fill this little spot in and make it look like a little mole last but not least i'm just gonna spray my face with max fix plus and then go back in with that little brush my stippling brush and i'm just gonna blend and that is the finished look so like I said, it's just a natural everyday, not really natural, but it's my everyday makeup look. This is the look that I always go for. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys liked it. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button down below and also comment for any other more any other videos that you would like me to do i am going to be filming quite a few videos the next couple of days because obviously it's easter break um i have time off work to do it um so yeah so like i said if you did love this video or you did like this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe below and let me know if you want to see any other videos so and i will see you guys next time bye